Welcome to Sleepless News. I'll definitely have a target on my back. Muhammad Ali's grandson Nico Aluwalsh insists he's able to handle the pressures of his famous name. His middleweight prepares to make his professional debut. Nico Aluwalsh makes his debut on August 14th in a four-round middleweight bout against an unnamed opponent. Ali Walsh is the grandson of the sport's greatest ever boxer Muhammad Ali, the three-time former heavyweight world champion, and knows that his family heritage only as to extra scrutiny. For years, the 20-year-old was shy away from his grandfather's legacy, choosing not to carry the surname. However, as he embarks upon progressing into the professional ranks, the American has decided to embrace the famous surname, even though it comes with having a target on his back. Everyone wants to knock out Muhammad Ali's grandson, he told my budding sites. I would never tell anyone who I was, but they'd always find out. And when they did, they'd always try to knock me out or hurt me because they wanted to be able to say, hey, I hurt Muhammad Ali's grandson, I knocked out Muhammad Ali's grandson. I say being Muhammad Ali's grandson is a blessing and a curse and that falls under the curse category. My last name is Walsh, so I tried to hide behind Walsh. But at some point every coach I had told me that at some point you have to become the name, be the name, and accept it because there was no hiding from me. I stopped wearing shirts with my grandfather on the front, I had a tattoo of him on my arm and I would start hiding. But there was no point of hiding it because people would find out anyway. So I embraced the name. I stopped hiding from the name and embraced it when I realized I could not hide from it any longer. The two biggest reasons were, I didn't want to be treated any differently and I didn't want to be looked at as the enemy of all the boxers and whatever gym I was in. Those were the two reasons that really shied me away from embracing my name. But once I realized there was no hiding from it, I chose to embrace it and that's where I'm at now. I'll definitely have a target on my back as a professional but where I'm at now mentally, I'm able to handle the pressures. And I'm grateful for that because this all started back when I was 10 when I first put on a pair of gloves. The Chicago-born fighter, who fought 30 times an amateur, has signed with American promoter Bob Arum, who promoted 27 of his grandfather's fights. Currently in the final year of study for a business degree at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, he is the son of retired U.S. Marine Corps SGT Robert Walsh and Rashida Ali Walsh. Ali's daughter and a noted public speaker who uses her platform to raise money for research into Parkinson's disease. Sadly, Ali will not be present to watch his grandson in action following his death in 2016, age 74 after battling Parkinson's for over three decades. However, Ali Walsh did seek counsel from the greatest during his younger days as an amateur. That advice coupled with the fact he's working with Aramine Ali, Walsh believes his grandfather would be delighted with his progress so far. I think my grandfather would be really proud, he continued. My whole family is a family of tradition and we love keeping the tradition and keeping the legacy. The fact that I'm with top rank and he was with Bob Aram is perfect. I really think he'd be over the moon right now if he could be here. The biggest piece of advice that I remember the most, he said, moving and dancing makes a fighter. Moving and dancing isn't something a lot of fighters do nowadays, hitting and not getting hit. He did that very well and that's what I want to emulate the most. But I don't want to be the same exact fighter he was. I don't believe there is a way even I want it to be. He is one of a kind. I'm more similar to him outside of the ring. We have the same kind of sense of humor, telling stupid jokes. He was huge on magic tricks and I'm huge on magic tricks. So we are similar in that sense. Inside the ring I'd say we have the same work ethic. His work ethic was outstanding. I emulate that. It's an exciting story. History is repeating itself. If you are a fan of my grandfather's, then I'm sure you'd love to tune in and watch the fight. There's always been a level of pressure on me because of my name. This is a new level of pressure, but grandfather is my grandfather. I don't have the pressure of continuing the legacy of the great Muhammad Ali because I'm continuing the legacy of Pappy, my grandfather. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to Sleepless Buddy. See you next time on Sleepless News.